Introduction to Achievements of Plant Breeding At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the major achievements in plant breeding. Do you know childhood blindness is one of the major problems existing in the continents of Africa and Asia? Recent reports from World Health Organization, that is WHO 2013, has revealed that nearly one-third of children in sub-Saharan Africa aged between 6 and 59 months have been affected with blindness. The root cause of this condition is that the children are subjected to vitamin A deficiency. After analysis, it has been identified that if the children are supplemented with food containing beta-carotene every day, the problem can be eradicated to a great extent. To overcome this, scientists have worked effectively and finally induced beta-carotene into rice crops around 1999 through the application of plant breeding techniques. The rice grains produced from the new crop variety is called the golden rice. By this method, nearly 35 mu gram of beta-carotenoid is made available in 1 gram of golden rice. The research is now in progress to cultivate golden rice all over the world. The concept of plant breeding serves as a boon to the agricultural industry. Soon, several revolutionary achievements happened through plant breeding. In this lesson, we will be learning some of the important achievements of plant breeding in India. Here we go. Semi-dwarf wheat and rice. The production of semi-dwarf cereal varieties, particularly wheat and rice, is one of the most important developments in modern agriculture. N. E. Bot Law and his associates were the first to develop semi-dwarf wheat varieties in Mexico at CIMMYT, that is, International Center for Wheat and Maize Improvement in the year 1963. They made use of Norin 10, a Japanese variety, as the source for dwarfing genes to create the new variety. In 1963, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAR, brought several semi-dwarf selections to India from CIMMYT. The most popular ones included Kalyan Sona and Sonalika varieties. As of now, the major percentage of the total wheat production in India is contributed by the semi-dwarf type. The semi-dwarf wheat varieties are fertilizer responsive, lodging resistant and high yielding. Due to the incorporation of resistance genes into the genotypes, semi-dwarf wheat crops are resistant to rusts and several other diseases. Gradually, the wheat breeding program has stabilized wheat production in India. Similarly, the semi-dwarf rice varieties have transformed rice cultivation in India. In the year 1966, semi-dwarf rice varieties such as Tai Chung Native 1, that is TN1 developed in Taiwan and IR8 developed at the International Rice Research Institute, IRRI, in Philippines, were introduced in India. These varieties survived in India just for a few years, and later they were replaced by superior semi dwarf varieties such as Jaya and Ratna. The Indian semi dwarf rice varieties are fertilizer responsive, lodging resistant, high yielding, as well as photo insensitive. Noblization of Indian canes. This is considered as an important achievement as this technique is still being practiced by nations all over the world. Let us rewind the history of sugarcane cultivation. The Indian sugarcanes were of Sacrum Barberi origin and were cultivated largely in northern India. Although the canes were hard, they were poor in sugar content and yield. On the other hand, the tropical noble canes of Sacrum officinarum origin had higher sugar content and thicker stem. But, the problem was they failed to grow in northern India due to low winter temperature. Hence, T.S. Venkatraman, C.A. Barber and his co-workers crossed Sacrum Barberi 
and Saccharum officinarum at the Sugarcane Breeding Institute, Coimbatore, to form a new variety which exhibited thicker stem, higher sugar content, better resistance and other desirable characteristics. Hybrid Millets The development of hybrid varieties of maize, jowar and bajra occupies a special place in the achievement list of plant breeding. In the year 1957, a program to develop hybrid maize began in India which resulted in the release of hybrid varieties in 1961. Simultaneously, double-cross hybrids were also developed. The yield of hybrid varieties increased by 40% when compared to the local open pollination crop varieties. In 1961, hybrid sorghum and hybrid pearl millet varieties were developed. Hybrid Cotton India revolutionized in the commercial exploitation of heterosis in cotton. In 1970, Gujarat Agriculture University developed the first hybrid cotton variety, H4. The hybrid cotton varieties are high yielding, have high ginning outturn and of good fiber quality. Later, many hybrid varieties such as Varalakshmi in 1972, Godavari, Sugana and Savitri in 1978, H6 in 1991, etc. were introduced in India. According to a recent report, around 95% of the total area under irrigated cotton is of hybrid variety. Recently, two Desi cotton hybrid varieties, namely GCOT DH7 and GCOT DH9, have been developed in India. Molecular breeding the molecular breeding relies on molecular biology techniques for achieving plant breeding objectives. Marker assisted selection, that is, MAS in molecular biology, enables the use of highly reproducible DNA markers for indirect selection of desirable genes. Some of the useful crop varieties developed through MAS are bacterial leaf blight resistant rice varieties, such as improved Samba Masuri and improved Pusa Basmati 1. Submergence tolerant rice variety, Swarna Sub 1 and improved protein quality maize hybrid variety known as Vivek QPM 9. Transgene technology. The recombinant DNA or transgene technology is the most effective tool for creating designer crops or plants with desired phenotypes. Insect resistant Bt brinjol was developed in the year 2000 through transgene technology. From 2002, insect-resistant Bt cotton hybrids are being cultivated in India. In 2007, the number of Bt cotton varieties increased to 131. In 2009, the total area used for cultivating such hybrids exceeded 8.4 million hectares. Thus, Plant breeding is an important means for economic growth, thereby making India an agriculture-dependent nation. Summary Let us now recap what we have learned. Semi-dwarf varieties like wheat and rice were produced through plant breeding. Plant breeding helped in producing high-quality sugar canes. Bacterial leaf blight-resistant rice varieties were developed through molecular breeding. The hybrid varieties of maize, jowar and bajra were achieved through plant breeding.